right. Time for a Gwen Beginner's Guide. Place the ward here at 50 seconds and recall. I'm a little bit like normally I'd recall and place it at the end, but I'm a little bit worried about a Blitzcrank just randomly running in because my cover is pretty bad. There's a ward here, but this path is definitely a viable choice to still walk at me from, so I'm just going to be careful, you know what I mean? Uh, this is going to be a, a beginner's guide, so it's going to be a, a low elo game as well to replicate the similar champions you'll be facing, or similar players, not necessarily champions to be fair. Similar players, you know. Gonna walk over to this thing. We're gonna auto attack it to get a stack off of it. There we go. And then we just hit blue into snip. And yeah, go from there. Unfortunately, my clad walked away for a leash. So that's a little bit sad. But don't really need one. It's okay. We can manage. We can survive. Also, don't need the potion to clear with this champion. As you can see my runes as well. They're very scale heavy. Uh, Gwen is an absolute monster when it comes to scaling. So there is definitely that. And yeah, I don't, you don't need like early adaptive force on this champion to be able to clear fast because her clear is actually pretty quick. It is really just that scaling potential. The CDR that I have as well is amazing because if you start like blue as well, you have 18 CDR super early, which is very, very nice, right? So that can make use of that pretty effectively. Snip into the instant one there and then we just keep hitting the big one. Don't have to worry about anything. The build on this champ is also extremely linear, actually. So it's very, very easy to get into. And if you play this in, like, low elo, it's also very easy to win games. Because you s this, like, there is pretty much nothing in the game that skills better than Gwen. Gwen is absolutely disgusting late game. Like, yeah. So, you know, early game, or, like, lower elo games especially, people have trouble closing out games. So you have a lot of value there to be able to play this champion and just win games for free with how strong she is. Uh, you do have, when you're clearing, don't worry too much about like maxing out your charges. Just get them as efficiently in there as you can. You saw like I started with like a two snipper as well, you know. Don't have to max it out every time because that's gonna actually slow you down if you do that the entire time. Go over this way, insta snip smite. We just do this for a little bit more speed. Uh, Gwen's abilities are very straightforward, like really straightforward. Your Q is just a snip, right? If you hit him in the middle of the zone, like you have a bit of a cone, you see the extra line in the middle. That is the true damage area. So if you hit it there, it'll do true damage to your target. So always try to snip it in the middle, really. That is a quite the important one. Your E is an auto attack reset, also gives you attack speed and on hit magic damage. If you use it and actually hit somebody after using it not just as a dash it'll go on a lower cooldown or you get a bit of the cooldown back from it i suppose and your w gives you a zone around you in this aoe which gives you resistances um so yeah it gives you resists and as you can see gains 25 armor magic resist skills as well with a bit of ap also the bonus goes up with levels but also people from outside cannot hit you with their skills if they're not inside your circle. They need to be inside for it to actually land, and that is a big one there as well to keep in mind. I mean, I could just check this. Fair enough. I mean, obviously the enemy jungler is going to be bot side at this point, and we are just gonna go clear the um, topside camps once again. On this champ, if you can just chill, you know, get a couple of full clears in there, and uh, look for some experience for maybe Void Grubs and stuff like that. That is ideally what you want. Because she scales like an absolute gold. And just consistent clearing, consistency there is good. Obviously my bot lane when I got there wasn't a viable gank opportunity. So that's unfortunate for me. If, the, if it is the case then that, absolutely go for it. But don't try to stick around for something that's not going to happen. I'm just going to clear the topside two camps. The Yorick is going to clear his bot side camps and can come upwards, I would assume. And I'm just going to go and get the Void Grubs here for some XP. Going to walk past here and dash over, so this way I don't get spotted. Okay, I'm just going to drag it and say whatever it is. Do have a bit of a top lane priority angle for the Teemo here, which I got to have to concern myself with, most likely. Focus one at a time. I'm gonna hold my swipe until the end. Right, the last hit that for me, very interesting. And then we smite the last one here as well. Might be able to send the gank on Timo. Yone is here as well. Timo is like not really paying attention, honestly. Hit it for a stack, press the ghost. 
Press the Sweeping Trinket as well. And then snip him in place when he's CC'd. Beautiful. And now we're just going to instantly reset because we're not like... I obviously cleared these two camps, right? Like York's probably going to maybe look for a dragon if he's going to look for anything at all. And we just move on. Nash just will be the first item we'll be rushing and I'm not going to wait for HP. These camps are up. I want to go for those. And by the time I do these, I can walk back towards topside. Maybe go for top scuttle if York hasn't done it by then. And then like take other respawns here because of the play sequence. The Teemo didn't pay a whole lot of attention there, which helped me a re relatively uh, decent amount. There is the dragon. That is a fair play. That is what I would have expected him to do as a trade for the Void Grub. So I, that's a very good choice there, Yorick. Good stuff, mate. So yeah, does mean a top scuttle is up and I can just call. Woo! Spicy. I can get that four gold off you right there. Can't really go for that because I'd be a man. Okay, you're gonna dive, then I'm gonna have to move. I have no choice. This is literally just like I'm moving. Blitz is gonna walk up. I'm gonna walk past here. Okay, we're just gonna send it on the Blitzcrank, I would imagine. He still had flash? That's rough. Very interesting. Should be able to just auto attack calmly. Dodge the hook and snip. Wow, that is beautiful. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, that works for me. I will take it. God damn. That blitz went for the knockup on me and like, wow. Okay. That is the biggest value queue I've ever seen in my entire life playing this champion. I'm not even going to lie to you. That is incredible. All right, we're going to clear this. We're going to then walk up here. Now, the first move that I'll be making, instead of going for these three camps, I'm going to move for this one, because it's going to be the most contested one. Uh, Teemo could potentially have it, but otherwise we just take it and we can defend our topside camps pretty easily afterwards. So that should be no problem. Okay, Teemo is potentially gankable here. I will look for it. Sweep in there. He's running. And we just snip him down. Very good. You can use your ult to cut him off. He tried to run in the other direction, which works beautifully for me. We're going to help our Clad push out this wave quickly. I have no interest in any of your CS, mate. I'm just helping you shove it into the turret. And I'm going to be backing here. I could walk all the way back down to my camps, but it's not worth doing because that would spend that would cost me a lot of time doing uh, doing that. And I need to move out of base and just go back to my camps once again. Because, I mean, I want to get at this point the six Void Grubs as well. Uh, it could cost me my botside camps, potentially. Like, there is a chance for that. But I'm going to go and clean up my topside camps from Wolves here to set myself up into the Void Grubs. And just make sure I get the six of them. Because at this point, I might as well make sure I secure those, right? So We also have Nashers now, so that's very good. We get the Smite upgrade there as well. With enough attack speed from Nashers, you can pretty much always go for the four stack on your Q for it to be uh, like worthwhile, you know. You don't have to go for anything else. If we had to get in here, we sn snip everything together. So six seconds on the Void Grubs, I'll be playing for those. Should die. Perfect. Max your E second. We're gonna hit them. Oh, there is the Teemo. That's a little bit unfortunate. Step in here. The Void Grubs are going to reset, unfortunately, because of Teemo's shenanigans. Is he going to stick around? I would... I don't even know. It's lovely how my team just does not want to do anything at all. That's wonderful to see. Let's smite the first one then. Let's just send the fight on Teemo. Send that in him. There we go. Fine. Whatever you want, mate. Uh, okay, we're fighting York now. I have to be careful here because I don't actually have Smite ready for the other one. He's going to get one. Damn it. Fair enough. I don't know if chasing here is actually going to work, but... I lost my stacks. That's kind of brutal. He walked into me. Is that going to work for me? Maybe it's not. Ooh. I took a turret shot on accident. 
All right, I disrespected him. I disrespected him a lot, and he got one of the void grubs too. I'm kind of sad about that one, but yeah, that's a big, big mistake on my end. So we thought I could fight him, but I lost my stacks at some point here, which was kind of bad. I should have snipped one of his minions. I honestly don't play against Yorick Jungle much, so it's 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 a bit of a I guess I could you could call it a surprise, honestly. I don't even know how else to put it. I don't really know how much damage that champion does, but he actually does a respectable amount, apparently. So, you know, fair enough. He got one of my Void Grubs, unfortunately. I'm just going to run bot as fast as I can. The big tank. Not the best place on, on the Misfortune Ultimate. Instead of doing camps here, like, I obviously just sprint here. Sweep to scout for vision. Loop around. My ult's up soon, which would be nice. I don't think I'm going to get anything here. Flash. Okay, fair. Can you, like, where's the blitz? Oh. I see. Damn. They really just get to walk away from me, eh? Wow. And that's the problem with Gwen. I have literally no form of CC. Like, my ult slows, sure, but yeah. Not bad. I could have probably played that better to at least kill the blitz crank. Let's go get this thing and then we'll just get the objective, I suppose, focus on the dragon afterwards. Could be fine. Their Bolton has to back now, so ideally here. Should be decent damage. As long as my bot lane doesn't like hard AFK here and my like my Yone maybe rotates, that should be no problem because I just put their bot lane out of business basically to be able to do anything about this. Okay, however, Misfortune is back now though. Ione is hard AFK as well, lovely. And he gets it too? Yo, dude, what? Okay. Alright, that's just... That's the curse, I guess, really. Low elo curse. My my Ione just afk mid at the same time. That sucks. Oh, lovely. Wonderful stuff. Yorick is actually, like, invading me and everything. I would, like, fight him there or, like, try to debate him into, like, trying to fight me so the Yone can show up for it. But, honestly, after he AFK'd mid lane on Dragon like that, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm, I'm good, you know. We'll just play my champion nice and calm. It's all good. Like, it's it's an unfortunate sequence. He, unfortunately, got the smite on the Dragon as well, apparently. What the... Hello? This guy just walked past me. I mean, I know I can't do a whole lot against you there, but still, Jesus. Doesn't hit those, unfortunately. Yeah, that's no thank you. I'm good. <laughs> that's the Gwen thing, right? Like, you can just use that from a distance and there's nothing they can do against you. Okay. Let's go over this way. What? What is all these wards? Like, can you please stop? Fine, I'll go for blue buff then. Whatever. I think he's doing Rift Herald at this point for sure, right? So surely I just take his blue. Because otherwise, I think the Yorick would have showed up by now, so. Well, then. That is relatively spicy. Let's see if I can just flank the guy from all the way behind at this point. Lance the Binding. Alright, good. I'm just gonna... I don't even want any of the CS, honestly. They can have it. They get way more value out of it than me anyway, so... Because I get reductions on it by quite a large margin, actually. Let's go over here and see if Bolt Scuttle is here. I'm assuming at this point, kind of, that my top side is just completely gone. I'm surprised, like, obviously he didn't do Herald, but... I don't think I have much else to do in this scenario. I'm just gonna not walk all the way up here, because backing and walking this way is just simply faster. Try to be efficient, you know. Try to, like, not waste time running across the map as much as you can avoid that. That is definitely the best way to do. And then we're just gonna clean this up. Suppose I do all three of my topside camps, get my smite upgrade, and then look for the Rift Herald if, like, the Yorick has not done it yet. I see some, uh, Yorick minions on it. I'll get the level up and move then, it's fine. I mean, I don't think... works for me and we have ghost activated so we can just run after the team ult for the slow ult for another slow and chunk him out let's snip him out whatever works couldn't have smited there though 
but I don't think it's gonna matter. The beauty about Ghost just being able to like run it off like that is really nice. Alright, get the Rift Herald, beautiful. Ideally this Rift Herald wants to be used on a turret here or here. Uh, or you can break the map open by taking mid turret, which is also a decent choice. Those are really the choices you're looking for. My scaling is becoming already monstrous right now. Like, the moment you hit two items, Gwen is a gold. The moment you finish your Riftmaker, Gwen is a gold. The moment you finish your Nashers, Gwen is a very strong champion. And Riftmaker is the gold status. So that is kind of what you're always looking to get. I sh don't have enough yet. God damn it. I thought it was 1450. <laughs> it's actually 1550. Am I going to risk some camps here? Uh, screw it. Nope. Uh, I'm gonna be one camp short, really. That sucks. Ooh, beautiful respawn timer. Thank you, Raptors. I love you. Snipe it out and just get rid of it. Okay, I think at this point he's gonna have my bolt side cams. We have 50 seconds on this. I'll just get to respawn off his Krugs as well here. Ooh, maybe I go for this one instead. Is he gonna walk up? He is gonna walk up. I'm gonna plant over the wall here and get the Teemo. Timo walked back the lane. Thought he was gonna walk in this direction. There is the Timo. Good flash, actually. Let's see if that reaches. It doesn't. That hit, but it didn't do enough damage. Damn it. Okay, fine. I'm gonna back quickly because otherwise I'm not gonna be in time for Dragon, so I can't be messing around too long there. Good flash. Saved his life for sure. Okay, so instantly move out of base, I'm just gonna go for the objective. My Zaya is dead. Don't have ult for 50 seconds. Would Yorick rush it is the question. Ooh, he did my Krugs. He is on top of those Krugs. I think I think I saw him move for those several times now. Interesting. I mean, he took my Raptors and my Krugs, and I took his Raptors, and I would have taken his Krugs, but obviously I went for the other play instead. Uh, it should be fine. Should be fine, I say, but I am actually getting CC quite heavily. Stop, 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 stop. Ow. Interesting. I always try to limit test a little bit too much on Gwen. I will find no, I found I will find myself doing that. That's a lot of damage, this Yorick. Okay, okay. I was close though. You saw that Q damage right there? If he would have died off that, I would have killed all three of them, I think. But yeah, I was not able to, I didn't manage to kill them there, sadly. That's three V1 was just a little bit too early, I believe. It's okay. Uh, the good thing here is he doesn't do dragon. I was worth a shot and Blitzcrank got it, so my death is actually not even that bad. Would have been much worse if Yorick got it or Aurelian Soul got it, but Blitzcrank getting my kill is not the worst thing in the world. I was just slightly too long damage. If I had ult, I would have executed all three instantly, but yeah, didn't have that either, so, you know, kind of crying about things. Just a sad death. Let's get these out of the way, and then we will move for the Yorick. Ah, screw it, let's go. We walked out of that one, that's fine. Snip him out, it's fine. I'll just prioritize going for Dragon here. I was unfortunately unable to finish off the Yorick. Snip that out, perfect. I do realize that the Aurelian Soul just walked in that direction, but... I'm just gonna use the W to prevent myself from getting killed by Aurelian Soul. That's a little bit unfortunate. I kind of would like the Herald this bot turret, that's really what I'm looking for right now. W is almost up, which is good. Yeah, could be fine. Okay, this might be very greedy. How far does this put me backwards? I don't actually know. Okay, it put, puts me actually really too far. Got the bounce on the turret, but yeah. Okay, I mean, turret's half HP. I guess I can come, I guess I can come back for it. Got this thing real quick. Pretty spicy fights at the moment. There's a Blitz Animus Fortune. Ah, oh, the flesh was... Was that really necessary, man? Really? Like... Oh, 
Oh, that's a... Ah. Uh, damn it. That's a Blitzcrank hook. I didn't have my W4. That is just a flashy... Oh, God. Whatever. <laughs> uh, limit testing a little bit too much, I have to say. God damn it. Gwen, you always do this to me. Like, I do this on Gwen because I know Gwen's an absolute monster, but I'm probably doing it slightly too early and slightly too aggressive. It's fair enough. That's not ideal. The the flash and then, uh, oh, like, Blitz Ignite. I didn't... I should have waited until my W was back up before I did this move on uh, Misfortune. If I waited for my W, I would have double killed them. Like, actually, I just need to have it ready, and I didn't. All right, let's just clear my topside two camps here. It's all good. Keep a good amount of farm in there. It's all, uh, and you should be fine. It's like regardless of anything, right? Like as long as I scale, which I'm one of one item away from like one v nineing them. Uh, you know, it's really over for the enemy team. Chomp them out. I say chomp, but it's actually just snip them out, isn't it? All right, good. That's a kill. And I'm just going to run to bot lane at this point, I believe. Actually, he might hold mid-wave if he is going to rotate first. I'll go mid. I can just pressure for mid turret if the Aurelian Soul rotates, which I think he will. Like, obviously, I could just go bot, but I believe Aurelian Soul is going bot as well. And I could just send this and just get the entirety of mid turret, which feels pretty solid. Okay. Sure, comes in there and just denies me that. That's fine. Check his camps, I guess. Wow, the raptors just respawned, eh? Is that the case, or did I just... Oh, I don't know about fighting the Yorick here. Oh, that's a Yorick for sure, yes. I feel like fighting Yorick is a little too aggressive. I guess I could just go for Teemo. Lovely. I don't know where the hell this guy just went. And I don't have a sweeping trinket. Please, sweeping trinket. You have a sweeping trinket. Use it. There Jesus. Yep. Thank you. Jesus Christ. He is dead. Goodbye. I'll be able to kill this guy as well. Okay, I missed my Q. That's not great. Fine. All right. <laughs> the guy had a sweeping trinket and ran to clear the ward instead of just... Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I mean, you see my damage there, right? Like, I'm absolutely, like, blasting him, basically. I just need to not miss my Q. Which, I mean, next item as well, it's gonna be really, really hard for the enemy team to kill me at that point. Which is going to be nice. He lost mid turret, that's okay. Nothing too much to worry about. I don't really want to fight this at the moment. Because I am like half HP with 2.2k gold. So I just want to clean this up and go for dragon. So I'm going to recall here and I'm just going to play for the dragon. Because I can afford my jock show now and that literally makes me immortal. Which you will see in a bit. Like this is going to be absolutely ridiculous. The enemy team is not going to know what to do. You can build like this every game as well. Like, it's literally a linear build. You could just go Nashers, tier 2 boots, where you can go Mercs if you want. And then, uh, Riftmaker, Jock Show, Deathcap. And, uh, yeah, Cosmic Drive. And you're chilling. There's Yorick. Goodbye, Yorick. Let's crank your turn next. No? Okay, you flashed away from me. That's fine. Can I, can I just, like, move? I, wait, my W didn't go off? Oh. Well, that explains why I died. I was about to say, like, what, what why, why am I taking so much damage? But apparently, I clicked my W, which I think at the moment, Blitzcrank maybe silenced me or knocked me up and it didn't go off. I think something like that must have happened. That's really annoying. I could have sworn I used it, by the way. Like, I, I thought I eat into the play and then clicked my W and had my W up so I get the resistances off of it. And obviously, as well, the... the the thing, the fact that I can't get misfortune ulted, etc. 
but I must have gotten CC'd in that exact moment I, I clicked that and like either knocked up my Blitzcrank silenced or whatever happened to the point where it didn't activate. Hmm, I see. Because in that situation, usually you can just go in, click your W for a colossal amount of resistances on top of your Jock Show, right? Because it's like synergizes really well and then you just survive. However, in this case, uh, if it doesn't go off, you're dead. You know, fuck great. Definitely has to go off. Cannot be forgetting about your W. Let's get the red buff. It's fine. We still got the dragon, so that's good. And we also got the other red buff. Lovely. Man, I just want to have, like, a good 1v4 teamfight. But if I don't click my W like an absolute idiot or it doesn't go off, whatever, that's not going to happen. Let's clear it. It's okay. Teemo's rooms. Uh, Teemo is very much 1 HP. Kind of want to see if I can find somebody rotating over here. Or just go for the Aurelian Soul behind him. I think I will do this. Let, let's be confident, you know? Let's, let's just be very confident and send it. I believe in Gwen. Can I get my W off this time, please? That's two down. Perfect. I'm literally full HP. Got my W off this time, so, you know, that's lovely. <laughs> Imagine getting your W off. Lovely stuff. No. Okay, fine. You win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baron is the correct call indeed. We'll move for it. No worries. No worries. You can look at the fight as well. Like, if you have your Jokcho stacked up with your W active, your um, your resistances should be sky high. I didn't really notice how much it went up to, to be honest, but it should be very, very high. Uh, also, if you're trying to smite, obviously try to just combine your Q with a smite. That should add for the most damage you can do. So here we're going to Q smite at about that HP. Didn't exactly get it, but it's close enough to a burst for it to be fine. York is bot lane anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So next in his build is the death cap. I will just get some items or get some camps cleared for now, I suppose. Team's gonna be in base. I can clear some of my topside camps. I cannot afford the death cap, so I should just back right now and just get my double large roll. Because there, I, if I would have a reasonable chance at farming out the money for death cap, I should farm for it. But I don't, so you know. Also, the more AP I get, the more this resistances from your Hollow Mist go up, right? Like, your resistances become higher and higher, which makes Jokcho as your only tank item an absolute gold tier tank item. And I really want to 1v5 the enemy team right now. I really do. My champion is absolutely disgusting at that. Let's go. No! You... Why did you have to flash in... Oh, okay. Lovely. Man, why do you all have summoners? What is that? Like, can you stop? Don't have my thingy currently. This is not good. My W is on cooldown. Ah, but why? Why do they all have every single summoner on the face of the earth? Fair enough. I actually nearly got all of them, by the way, but it's just like flash after flash after like everything they possibly could do to escape from me. Sad. Almost was good. I mean, they can do that once, but they cannot do that again. So, you know, there is that. That would be uh, next time they're dead. Or if I get death kept, they're just dead in one combo anyway. Eh. <laughs> you can see how much damage I do. Like, it's absolutely disgusting. Like, this champion is unreal, but I'm just, I feel like I'm getting relatively unlucky here, too, if I'm being honest with you. With uh, the amount of summoners to escape from me. Oh well, we're just gonna clean up a little bit, go for that dragon in 30 seconds and get a, uh, get my death cap out of it. And then we'll just send the uh, 1v9 again. I really want to just get one of those fights. This time, they shouldn't have their summoners, so this time I should kill them. At least, I hope so. Yorick just sent his maiden to bot lane, interesting. Death cap is like the big power sp like that's gonna be upping my damage a lot. Yorick is top, so I can get the dragon. I'm just gonna clean bolt wave real quick. Get rid of this maiden as well. Snipe everything out, snip everything away. 
Perfect. Ah, let me resist myself real quick from getting damaged by Aurelian Soul, thank you. Get the dragon. After this dragon, I'll just take the reset, take the death cap, and, and then we'll just go for it again. Get my ghost up and everything. One of these fights, I will be fine. Yorick has good CS, wow. 241. Very solid. Alright, get an Amptome going towards the Cosmic Drive as my last item here. And I will get a red buff coming out of base, and then we'll see if I can, like, send something in, like, a 1v5 type of angle. Can my team just, like, completely lose a team fight, please, at the moment? That would be lovely. Let's use the portal. I kind of just want to, like, go bot lane. Oh. That's unfortunate. Ooh. Two kills for the enemy team. Alright, I'm gonna go bot lane here, and I'm just gonna full send it, and then they're gonna rotate to me, and I'm gonna kill them all. Let's do it. Ghost is up in 10 seconds, so I surely should be fine. That thing is on cooldown, that's very nice. This is good, this is good. Set that up first. Jesus! I'm... Okay, uh, this is not doable. <laughs> They have too much CC on me. Like, I have the... Yeah, the Teemo Blind obviously doesn't help. We have the Blitzcrank Silence obviously doesn't help. Fine. I give up. God damn it. I've learned... Like, I, I don't need to do this. Don't get me wrong. I really don't. But they have too much CC on me. Like, annoying CC as well. And then just damage. Okay. Oh. You win. I will just end the game. It's fine. God damn it. Most of the early game was fine, right? Like, it's just, like, consistency and some clears. You get strong and you're chilling. I just, uh, getting... I'm just... I'm admittedly getting a bit greedy. I mean, I just want to see it happen, you know? Just the Gwen pop off, but it's it's a bit too much annoying CC and then range damage. Because they're also all range champions, so Blitzcrank can just walk in, CC me for a little bit, and then get blinded by, like, Teemo afterwards, and then I just get killed after my W ends. Eh. Yeah. Not good. Alright, well, we'll just get the blue buff, we'll get the Baron when it spawns, and we'll just end the game. It's all good. Right, Misfortune's dead. That will be my target right now. We're gonna go over the wall here, we're gonna hit the plant, and we're gonna run the Misfortune down. Hello? She is dead. I need to be respectful here. That should be two. There we go. Perfect. Can I... Ah, Blitzcrank, you're annoying! Snip that so I can get my cooldown back. No, you flashed it over my pentakill. You... Ah, damn it. No, that's gonna kill me. Oh, it didn't kill me. Jesus. That's what I wanted to show you. Gwen power. Lovely. No pentakill though, but you, you see the idea. Pretty much 1v5 them. Ah, it's just so low health. I need to use this, otherwise I'm just dead. Can't end on that one, I don't think. Because I'm just way too low. The respawn time is not going to work for me. Alright, fine. I mean, I can go for Baron, but I'm absolutely recalling first. Thank you very much. All right, well, I mean, you saw the fight right there. That's pretty much Gwen for you, right? You get to a certain stage of the game and you just absolutely delete them. I will make sure I get the Baron here. I'll get a Dragon Soul as well and we'll just end. I had my fun with that uh, last team fight. That was enough for me. I'm also full build now, so, you know, there's that. My damage is mental on that too. Let's get the dragon. I'll go get the Drake soul and make sure I ended it cleanly.
make sure like always trying to go for objectives you know is a big one definitely got one of those dragons smited away from me but my damage is really really high right now scout them out that's all good yep uh, this yorick wall is like painful fair enough mate Still want to go for the Drake here. Alright, sustain. Get my HP up a bit. We're gonna go Dragon. Gonna wait for my ult cooldown and then we're gonna wait for, or go for a fight afterwards. Pretty much. Alright, that's good enough for me. We can flank from the side. Right, right, you guys win. Jesus Christ, relax. So annoying. <laughs> oh my god. It's so annoying. Their team is actually really annoying. Because it doesn't look at that, that bad, but it's actually really annoying. Oh, that's gonna kill me if I even step into it for like a little bit more. I'm too low on health again. That works. Jesus. Oh, almost got him. Alright, anyway, that, that is it for Gwen. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. 5.7k damage on Narcissus, by the way. Easy clap. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, I will see you guys in the endgame stats. Alright, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 60k damage. Whoa, look at that. Through the roof damage wise, easy game. A true damage at a solid 10,000 as well. Objective damage at 61k. And we have healing done at 36k. Damage taken at 67k. Holy moly. Self mitigated at another 72k. My god, I took so much damage. What the? I mean, obviously, yes, I went for 1v5s and I mean, lost some 1v5s because, eh. Annoying team comp, that, that one for sure, but that is some insane damage taken right there. Absolutely crazy. This is all with one tank item as well, right? Just one. Because I just, and I only had Jokshu. The rest is AP items. But because Jokshu and then Gwen W gives you like, I believe it's like max build 65, 65 or 70, 70. Like armor and magic resist. So while you're within that, your Jokshu is going to amplify it and it's just ridiculous. So, it's, I, that's something, really. I um, did that too. So, we have gold earned at 18.8k, which is fine. Uh, we have runes. Conquer healed me for 2100 healing. Uh, adaptive damage is obviously a big factor here that you don't see as well. Triumph for 2200 HP and 520 gold. Tenacity CC reduction. Lost stand for 1500 additional damage. Conditioning for the extra resistances. This obviously works really well with the Jack Show you're going for in this build. And then revitalize for the bonus healing here as well for another 3k there too. Uh, I would highly recommend trying her out. She is absolutely very, very fun to play. And you can win a lot of games with this champion. Because late game, she is an absolute gold. Uh, if you get a team that doesn't absolutely wreck you apparently in uh, like CC capabilities. You're probably going to be much better off. But you know. Eh. Uh, with that being said though. I upload daily so be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.